So as you guys land, um, kind of making your way up uh, from the shore, only like uh, pretty much, ex well, except for Tarnum and Jostan, everyone else, you pretty much only your feet are wet uh, besides the heavy rain. Um, you kind of drenched, come up on the shore. Um, what you see uh, are small bits of plant life um, on the small island. Trees that once stood uh, are now visible, uh, their tops hanging off, uh, pretty much completely cut in half. Large rocks and boulders are visible scattered around the island, and in the center, where plant life on, uh, has been crushed to the ground, uh, a figure stands about 15 feet tall. Um, I need you guys, as you get closer, go to make stealth checks. Everest, we need pass without trace. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. No. Natural one. <laughs> for draw stand. Uh, 24. I'm still like... <laughs> been 17 dragged. for Hanok. Yeah, 20. Yeah. I'm like screaming right now. <laughs> 22 out. for Owly. 20. 11. No, so 11. And then areas, what'd you get again? 20. 20. I can't suppress the presentation on myself to dry myself off. So as you guys... Um... <laughs> As you guys are approaching the island, uh, Tarnum uh, trips on uh, in the sand from how drenched he is uh, and falls to the ground. Um, Avers actually trips over him and falls to the ground as well. Um, and despite you not being able to hear the noise, uh, the figure that was kind of not really looking at you uh, now glares at your direction. Um, but you can see from him uh, what he when he was sitting, you didn't realize he was sitting down uh, at fifteen feet. Um, as he stands to his full height, now seeing you, he's actually about twenty-five uh, feet tall, picking up a long blade, which is, uh, resembles a great sword uh, that's about fifteen feet long. Um, oh, blue boy. gray skin and a long gray beard. Uh, he roars uh, now that he can see you. And begins charging over in your direction. Uh, going to do initiative for one. <laughs> oh, for diplomacy. We haven't even seen it yet. So much for it diplomacy. Is. is that to scale height or? Uh, he's technically huge. So he's 50. Yeah, this is to scale. Yeah. Uh, nine. All right, so Five. nine. 19. 17. Glorgots. Ooh, 19. So she'll just go after Tarnum. And then Avers. One. He rolled two ones in a row. <laughs> and then the storm giant. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a uh, 21 for him. So, uh, as you guys are, oh, Avers and Tarnum are kind of getting up, and you guys are getting ready, he just charges towards you guys. His speed, 50. He can make it there. He's going to come right here. And he's going to take advantage of the fact that you guys are grouped together. Um, you can see in his left hand a blue spark of electricity forms, and he pulls uh, it over. Can I identify the spell for a counter spell? It's not a spell, actually. Okay. It is just a natural effect. Ah. Um, he hurls it right here. Okay. It kind of covers that, and it covers a. 10 foot radius, so it gets all of you. Uh, all of you make dexterity saving throws. 
Hey, at least Ali's safe. Yes, Ali is safe. Oh, dexterity, my best saving throw. Uh, you know, if you have uh, bubbled in the saving throw, do you get to roll it again, or is it? I don't know how it works. It means you get to roll it Okay, well, that only gives me an eight then. Uh, Ten! Right, I'm going to roll failure, it across failure. Failure. Well. Yes. Is it just straight dexterity for him? Because I don't have a saving throw. Uh, should be just straight dexterity. Uh, yeah. He should have proficiencies, maybe. Only a few, though. It probably would have been saving Most throws. Of them, yeah, they would, it would say on there if he has a proficiency yeah. in a saving throw. Usually they only have proficiency in, like, skills. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His dexterity is uh, plus three, so he gets a 14. 14. So, <laughs> Erigenus, Tarnum, Drostan, and Hanok fail. Uh, Corian? 16. 16, that's... Oh, that's also a fail. <laughs> uh, Lindy Ballora and Averis now. What's the DC, 18? 17. Okay. Ballora just makes it. Oh, and Averis rolled another one. So, he's kind of done for today. <laughs> Literally three ones in a row for Iris. He's having a bad day. I rolled like four or five the other week. So, <laughs> so let me roll damage real quick. 68 points of lightning damage. <laughs> We're all dead. Game over. Would you say 68 or 68? 68. <laughs> that's it, just like game over. We're done. <laughs> yep, that's it. This is how D&D ends, folks. <laughs> Shocking conclusions. <laughs> He's upset at you. Um, as as you say that, uh, the bolt of lightning streaks and kind of curls across the ground, hitting each of you. Um, those that failed, which oh yeah, it was all of you except for Ballora. Uh, you guys get twenty six points of lightning damage. Jeez. She gets thirteen. Um. He's then going to come up into range. He's going to come up to range uh, with Ali and Erges. And then that'll be his turn. After that, it's Tarnum. Oh boy, okay. Is he in range with me right now? For sword, or am I good for bow? You're... Yeah, you're in range of sword. Alright, well I'm gonna Hunter's Mark this fellow, right off the bat here. I'm gonna mark my spell for that. Uh... And I guess I'm taking swings at him with the sword then, okay. I guess. Gonna roll two attacks. Yep. So, we've got... No, not with a 4. A 10, I assume, doesn't hit. 10 does not hit, no. No. And next roll... Uh, 15. That misses. Yeah, alright. Uh, for my movement, am I going to take uh, an attack of opportunity if I move away from him? Am I in yes, range right now? Yes, you would. Alright. Uh... Hmm. I don't like being this close to the shoreline, to be honest. But I, I guess if I if I move here, I've not left his range, right? So he can't nope. give me that attack. Yes, yeah, so you're fine there. Okay. And does Drostan have his teleport back yet? Because I want to teleport him. I think that's a free action, right? Uh, go and roll and see, because he just used it. All right. No, not with a two. No. So now at the moment he does not. I wanted to teleport him more inland so he's away from that damn coast. <laughs> he can move around this way if you wish, but it's up to you. Uh, is he not in range? I thought this thing would have a big range. Uh, actually, let me double check. Because he's only got eight hit points, so if he takes a, an attack of opportunity, he's unconscious. Can you just go swing us off the island? I was, I was hoping that uh, I could teleport him inland and get him away from this thing, but now... 
I mean, he's got a 15 yep, foot has, long sword. He has a 10 foot range, yep. Yeah, yeah, he can't move. So at the moment, he's stuck there. Unless, yeah. you, unless you want to take the strike. No, no, it would leave him unconscious, and he's right next to the coast, so for all I know, he could be washed out to sea. So you're just gonna uh, leave him there and end your turn? Yeah, that's okay. all I can do. Sorry, I didn't make any damage. <laughs> you no could move him up behind you if you wanted. I, I guess. It wouldn't leave his range, right? Bringing him there. Right. No. Yeah, he's gonna be there. So, after that, it's Laura. She... She's gonna... Come over here and cast Beacon of Hope on you all. And then she's going to... She wasn't too hurt, so she's gonna do a... Uh, actually, she'll, she'll, she'll do a healing word on Drostan. What does uh, Beacon of Hope do? That gives you uh, max hit points for healing, and okay. it gives you advantage on death saving throws and wisdom saving throws. Right. So she's going to do a second level for that. So he automatically gets uh, 13, 13 hit points back. Okay, thank you. And that's what she, all she can do, so she's going to end her turn there. Um, after that, it's Quinn. All right. Um, I'm going to go 5, 15, 20, 25, 30. I assume that gets me flanking. Uh, you would have to uh, be right here, sorry. Oh. Because that's directly across. All right. <clears throat> yeah, right here you get advantage. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, pop this potion. The haste one? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> so you get three attacks. Uh, yeah. And, uh, that's my bonus action, right? Yeah, yes, to drink the potion, yep. Yes, all right. Uh, and then I'm going to take some swings with, uh, the great sword of leeching. All I'm right, not, go right I'm, ahead. I'm not using lightning on a guy that casts lightning. <laughs> no problem. Go right ahead. Uh, so first one's a 23. That hits. Next one. Uh, make sure I do that right. Oh yeah, because he's doing great 20, weapon as well. 22. 22. I don't remember how the things work. No problem. Yes, um, that hits. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so that is... Uh, I gotta find this sword here. Uh, so I think that's uh, 15 damage. Was that great weapon? Oh, oh, 25 damage. Sorry, I okay. forgot the forgot no the plus 10. Uh, my second attack. Uh, 16. Yep, that hit. Oh, awesome. Uh, same thing again, 25. 25, so 50 damage. That's really uh, good. My third attack... Alright. Uh, is a 14. That misses. Okay. Uh, action surge. <laughs> Alright. There's not a bad time to use it, so... Alright. Uh, that'll hit. That's another 22 to hit. Uh, nice. Uh, is he making his saves against this leeching sword? Twenty. Uh, it's only a natural twenty or crit. Twenty-six oh, damage on that one. And for my final attack, uh, natural twenty. All right. Would you not get three attacks through being hasted on an action sword? Uh, stage? no. Uh, haste only, only gives you action. one additional attack. Uh, okay. So. It's not counted as action, yeah. Yep. Uh, so it's uh, 9, 18, 24. Do I get the regen from the whole thing? Uh, just from that one attack. Right, right. But I mean like the, the entire damage from that attack. 
Uh, it's, uh, it, it's, it's half. Them? I know it's half, but uh, it just says from the damage, so... So, uh, what was the damage roll? 29, you said? 34. So you get, what, 17 back? Yeah. Is that with the great weapon as well? That is with the great weapon, right? Yeah. 18 plus 6 is 24, plus 10 is 34. 110 <laughs> points of damage on the first turn. <laughs> and then you regain some hit points as well. Yes. You, uh... He's pretty tall, but you're slashing away at what you can reach his like legs and feet area, uh, and you see just see blood gushing out. Um, he's still doing well, but uh, that did a lot of damage. So, um, he's not happy with me for that. So after that, it's fine oh, and you with use me. your bonus action. So yes, to um, drink that potion. Yeah. Yep. You, you know that gives me like <laughs> plus two AC. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's what advantage on deck saves or something. Yep. Yeah, it's a really good one. Um, so after that, uh, Hanok, you and Ali are up. Well, considering how injured I am, I'm going to move Ali over here, put him there for his help action, and then I'm going to get the heck out of dodge because I am outside of his range, right? You are, yes. Yep. Five, ten, fifteen, five, yep. <clears throat> twenty, twenty-five, and then I'm going to attempt to cast blindness on him. Constitution okay. saving throw. Constitution. Needs to beat a six, hit sixteen or better. That's a 22. Yep, he saved, so... It's the um, constitution. Yep, and I'm going to use my Wand of Healing Word bonus action on myself. Okay. He kind of turns to you momentarily, uh, but he's not uh, distracted by you. Um, and right. Was that your whole action, just to be sure? Everything you can do? Yeah, I'm going to okay. roll for that. What's that? Is that that's a d4, right? For oh healing word healing word two d four oh sorry healing word uh first level yes one d four plus your intelligence right if you're doing it first up to you yeah I am doing it first level where's my d four at I saw it over oh there it is I heal for seven all right so after that uh Aegis. your turn. You just okay. see this giant, twenty-five foot tall entity with a giant great sword before you. Yeah, I need to cripple him. Go for it. I think I'll back up a little bit too. Just my right. range, and then if you go right. If, if you can stay in his range, there. If you go one step further, you'll get an attack of opportunity, which may hit, may or may not hit you. Up to you. Okay, uh, and then I'll do, let's see. I'll do Bardic Inspiration okay. for Tarnum. Okay, alright. So he gets a D D8, actually. And are you, are you staying in this range, or do you still want to leave? I didn't want to... Take the option away. But if you do leave, you could potentially get hit. I'll stay in his range. Like, just... okay. I'll... Just... Yeah, I'll, I'll do a uh, level three cloud of daggers. <laughs> right on this. Yeah, and yeah. you do like a 10 by 10 right here. Or, yeah, 10 by 10 right, right there. I love that spell. I'll be sixty-four on the on his, on his turn, I believe. I believe he takes that damage on his turn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just make sure. So he's now surrounded by a cloud of daggers, um, and that's all your movement. So. Yep. 
All right. Uh, next yeah, is gonna be 64. 64? Okay. Avris, he never knows what he's going to do. Uh, He he wishes he had heat metal prepared, but he doesn't. <laughs> That'd be really handy. He's gonna do moonbeam. Uh, actually, he'll do it at fourth level. A fourth level moonbeam on him. So I'll say the same spot is also moonbeam for cloud of daggers. Um, which he'll take on this turn. Um, where is he? He does not want to be anywhere near him. So he's just going to slowly back away as fast as he can. <laughs> right there. Um, oh, sorry, he'd be right here. 30 feet. There we go. So now there's a... Uh, Moonbeam on top of him. Uh, next is its turn. I'm going to start with the damage. So, Edge is going to roll 64 and tell me what you get. One, four, two, seven, two, nine, nine, two, eleven. What was that? So 14 total? Yeah. 14? All right. You guys see the cloud of daggers just cutting into him. Um, but actually, he's still focused on Corian. <laughs> even with that, uh, the boom boom is not going to damage. Intent damage. <laughs> yeah, he is, he is intent on getting revenge for that. Whether he's successful, we'll see, but now moonbeam damage uh, with, so I believe it's, it's 4d10 because it's 4th level. Actually, I'm going to mark that spell slot too because I'll forget. Alright, so 4d10. Not that great. It's 16 points of damage to him. As he's surrounded by radiant energy. Um, he is going to take... Uh, yeah, he's going to take two strikes on you, uh, Corian, with this giant blade. Alright. One is 18 to hit. Nope. All right, second one. It's even worse. Uh, yeah, so he misses I'm, with both. I'm at 22 at the moment. 22? Okay. So he goes to swing at you, but he's he's pretty slow, and you're able to dodge. Uh, you hear the... Uh, despite actually not being able to hear a bunch, you do hear the wind blow around you as his blade whips past you. Um, but that's his turn. He is going to... Exit the Moonbeam and Cloud of Daggers. Uh, of course, taking Attack of Opportunity, but... He's going to come over here. Right on to you, Corian. Um, so, Tarnum uh, and Ballora both get attacks. Arges and... If you wish to use the help action, or, No, because they're not within five feet. Yeah, yeah, they're not. Hello, did you want to use help action or no? Yeah, like so. I'm assuming Tarm's gonna take the first strike. So if Tar, whoever makes the first strike on him, will take my help action for hours. Well, I, I rolled an 18, so 18 hits. Did you want to roll again for see if you get a crit? Because he's giving you the help action. So sure. It's always the first attack. So. <laughs> it's oh. Wait, is no, that? No, it's oh, it's cut. God damn, man. I was like, oh well. That's Good. twice this evening, it's fucked me over. Yeah, even if it was a low number, I'd have you rolled again, so go ahead and re roll it. Well, give me another 20. 
Ooh. Well, 19, I guess, is better than nothing. 25. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 3d6, right, for this? Uh, yes. Actually, what types of damage are they? Uh, I've got six points of normal damage, uh, one hunter's mark damage, and two fire damage. All right, that's good. So in the end, I got nine points off of that, which isn't bad. Nine points. Uh, I'm not using this dice again because I just rolled another one. <laughs> so, so Blora misses. Uh, so nine hit points to him. Floor just swings wide. Um, he he, to strike. He's not in five feet. Oh. Uh, so after that, it's actually turn him turn. Mm. Okay. Twenty-four. Are you using a bow? Sword. Sorry? You have to get in range. Uh, and you'd have to go around the Moonbeam and Cloud of Daggers. Which is actually, sorry, if you go this way, it's a 10 foot, so it's right here. So you could go straight up ahead. Okay. I'm getting range. I'm going to go all the way over here, then I got flanking, right? You can go right here. Unless you use your boots of speed. No, I'm not using those yet, so I can't get flanking right now. No, you cannot. Alright, never mind then. Uh, and you'd have to be in the water. Yeah, you'd have to be in the water to get advantage. Oh yeah, I don't want that. 24, 24 does that hit? Yeah, yeah that hits. Ugh. Six total. I guess I'll make the three, the fire damage, and then uh, the one hunter's mark. Two to sword. So six one, yeah. Yeah. It's not very good. Uh natural one on the second. No, right. nothing. Uh, can I roll for drops down again? It's teleport. Yes. Nope. Are you leaving him there? Um is he out of range now? There we go. All right. This one was over there. Um, after that, it's Ballora. She's gonna. Actually, she wants to get on this. She's gonna move forward. Uh, she wants the extra damage, so she's gonna do and inflict, inflict wounds. Nice. She doesn't have advantage, but she'll still try and roll to hit. And uh, she's just doing first level at the moment. Actually, she'll do second. So that's the hits. This above 20. Very great. And yes, it is. Can I retroactively use a uh, healing potion? Fine, if not. If my turn's passed. But my bonus actually if, didn't use it. If you wish, you can. Okay, yeah. On. So, he takes 13. Wasn't that great, but... <clears throat> so, out of a standard healing potion, the minor ones, how many hit points would I get out of that? 2d4 plus 2. So, yeah, 10. I get full 10 hit points, alright. Uh, that's her turn mm. actually she's gonna oh no she can't because it's concentration she won't do spiritual weapon because she wants to keep beacon of hope spiritual um, weapon is not concentration oh it isn't nope she'll do that then another second level yeah no it's not concentration it's a big area <laughs> Use a dice. I, don't know. I use a dice when I, because it moves. That's a good idea. Just don't use one of my dice. What if I want to like? Mm, I wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> She's gonna use a a pyramid, 
weapon to attack him. <laughs> and she misses. The pyramid had appeared. <laughs> <laughs> She misses with it. Uh, not ruling well. I don't know what it would be for her her deity. Uh... It would be a fence. <laughs> Maybe. So her symbol is a waterfall. Yes. Well, she uses a mace, so maybe it'd be that. She'd probably have a second mace. Well, it's, you but... know, it's usually whatever their deity. Yes. Related their deity thing. I have no idea. Fishing pool. Oh, no. I mean, Pike, <laughs> Pike usually makes a sword in Critical Role, and her deity is Saren Ray. Yeah. I think you can make it. Well, usually you make it based off your deity, but you can make it, I believe, any weapon. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's the same damage. Whatever form you choose. If they're associated mm -hmm. with a particular weapon, yes. if their deity is supposed to. Supposed to how, if their um, deity is associated with a particular weapon. How deep is this water? Right there is about two, three feet. It's not in a hindrance would probably be about right here. Like this bad. Okay. All right. It's hard to depict, but you can where it's deep darker. Then I'm gonna move so, yeah, to you there. Can get there. I, I it's my turn, right? Uh yes, yes it is. Yeah. Okay. He just glances down at you, trying to hit you. Uh, 18. 18, yeah. Oh, man, I get to reroll both those. Too bad they sucked still. <laughs> uh, four, 10, 20 damage. 20. Uh, 19 will hit. Yep. Uh, that's better. Uh, 8. 24 damage on that one. Oh, that one will also hit. That's like a 21. I was kind of hoping for a crit there. I didn't get it. Uh, 11, 17, 27 damage on that one. Still, you're actually hitting the same wounds that you, uh, you hit previously, and he's furious at you uh you still wait uh you get a third attack or... that was my three attacks that was it yeah uh so i am going to uh drink a potion while i'm at it here too really? just a little one yeah just get me back okay. up to full all right go right ahead and then after that uh head up you're up all right first thing i do is go 5 10 15 20 25 over here so I'm going to go right here to some on the line. And then, seeing as blindness doesn't work, Hanok is done with crowd control, and he's going to cast Fireball behind him at a point um, like 20 feet out so that it clips him right there in the back and cool. not hit anybody else. All right. So go and roll. Uh, he has big save, actually. Yep, dexterity saving throw. Let's see the big guy dodge. And then it's 8d6. That is 12. He fails. All right. So I'm going to roll that. Out. It's been a while since I've had to use Fireball. We're usually in enclosed spaces. Yep. You never know when you're going to need it. All right. One, two, three, four. 30 damage. 30. Nice. I think you can also, can you do Fireball above him as well? Oh, yeah, I guess I could do it that way. I guess I could just cast in his face, right? I think, yeah, I think earlier... At, at any could, point within range. Yeah, it could potentially hit Corian. So if he did it in the air, it would just, it would okay. just blast his face. Well, well, because his, his guy is like that one line in front of Corian there, you know? You see how his little butt's sticking over there in the 3 by 3 Yes. Yeah, so I figured that yeah, would be so safe. Could... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he, so it's not going to hit Corian. Um, it's, so it's 30 damage. Okay. All right, I got that down. Um, I'm going to use another healing ward. I don't think I was in range for Beacon of Hope, was I? Uh, you were, yes. I was? You okay, were in the, cool. then I, the 35th radius. Then I heal for nine. Okay. Um, and after that, it's Aegis. I 
think you can move your cloud of daggers if you want. I can't remember. I don't that. believe so. Nope. Um, I am going to move Owly. Avoid the cloud of daggers. Or actually, he could just fly. I'm going to fly above the cloud of daggers. Okay. Right? And just plop him down right here. Help action. Okay. So you can either maintain concentration, or you could, or you can even just do a regular spell, or or your dagger or anything. Yeah, you got that nifty dagger. Yeah, I was thinking that just isn't a dagger. Okay. It's in range. He would get advantage on that with Owly then, right? Yes. We're gonna roll twice to take the higher. The hit. Is this uh, his new toy that he got last time? Yes, it's the kind of like blue shimmering dagger. That what does that of... do again? I forgot what that does. Uh, it acts like a boomerang. Uh, if right. someone is next to him, it can hit this uh, two targets, and it comes back to you. A d20 or? Yes, then roll two d20s and take the higher. They're both ten. And then add your um, dexterity modifier and your proficiency. It's plus one. And then your proficiency. Plus three, I believe. Right. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, so that's a 14. And actually, it's a plus one dagger, too, so it'd be a 15. Uh, but that still, unfortunately, misses. Um, the dagger does come back to you, though, as you throw it. Uh, but you just barely miss him. Uh, did you have any inspiration you want to give or move anywhere? Or is that it? You had the one to Ballora. So she gets one as well. And you're staying there? Yeah. Got it. So Averse is now... He's going to... It's a high level Moonbeam, so he's just going to move it back over on top of him. Right there. Uh, he does not want to waste that. And... And up, what's your hit points at? Averus is thinking of giving you a healing word. Sorry, I was AFK. Are you I'm low in health? Uh, no, I got ten. I'm missing ten health. Okay, how's Drostan doing? Uh, Drostan is pretty good, I think, after that heal. Okay, uh, he is. 21 actually, out of 39. Actually, he should probably do a heal on himself, because Averis is kind of low. Yeah. So he's now back a little bit to health. Uh, I'll make that spell as well. All right, so he healed himself a little bit. And then after that, it's his turn. Hmm. He has to take the moonbeam damage, right? He does, so he'll take that first, actually. How's he looking? Uh, he's looking pretty hurt. They've probably taken nearly 200 points of damage total now. <laughs> Maybe a bit more. Uh, that is... Easily. 22 points of damage. That was a pretty good roll for Moonbeam. Yeah. Uh, Keep chiseling he... away on him. He isn't happy about these casters over here so he's gonna for this action he's gonna cast another lightning strike over at uh drostan hanok and avis <laughs> really coward uh that's a deck save for those three he kind of glances down at you and smile or give his snicker at uh corian and then reaches over and hurls a bolt with lightning at them 
So what am I making dexterity? Yes. Ibra succeeds. The 21. Uh, uh, dexterity saving throw. A natural one. Natural one. <laughs> All right. And Henok. Saving. Th- uh, which one saving throws this again? It's a dexterity. It's another bolt of lightning. All right. Oh, God. Natural 20! Holy right. moly! So you succeed as well. Um, so I'll roll the damage now. Uh, Jostan's the only one that fails. Oh, he's probably unconscious at this point. He only had 21 hit points left. Or our Averis can get him up. Uh, 25 points of lightning damage. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, he's so, how much is that? Half? Is that Thir- right. 13 to both of you. What's well, Averis? I mean, and Hanok. Okay. Hanok does not like getting shocked, though. <laughs> As you feel another kind of surge of electrical energy uh, damage you, uh, Drastian is knocked unconscious. Yep. It's not really a good way of displaying unconscious in this game, is there? <laughs> not with these models. Some of the ones built in actually have states, though, where you can actually have them lie prone. There you go. <laughs> um, but uh, he, uh, he begins laughing as he uh, kind of looks around pick, deciding who to pick. Uh, to attack next, but he can't do anything right now. Um, so he's gonna end his. Actually, seeing how small you guys are, he's going to actually he's gonna leave again and go actually go into the water. So you take opportunity attacks, though, right? Uh, from Tarnum and Ballora, yes. It's okay, it just Natural 20. His, Natural 20. Puts his guts at my eye level. <laughs> it does. Uh, so going to roll damage for that, Tarnum and Ballora got a 15, so she misses. Uh, do I double all the dice? Oh, yep. Okay, uh... Nine, eighteen. You know, I've also been in- forgetting to include that plus three that the sword has, uh, but never mind. Uh, so eighteen, and then yeah, but twenty-one damage. I wondered why my rolls were so low. Twenty-one. No problem. But your story has a plus three in it. Uh, I get some bonus to it. Apparently, oh, it's two d six piercing plus three. Yeah, oh, dexterity. Okay. Yeah. So I just, uh, is it a plus one sword? No, it's not. We, we've had that question before. It's my bow that's the plus one. Yeah. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's... Sorry, that's his turn. Got distracted. Um, after that, it's Tarnum. All right. Uh, well, seeing what's happened to my dog, I'm going to look at it and go over here, big man. And see what we got for this. He's out of your range if if you want, unless you want to use a bow. Oh, I'm, I'm switching to the bow right now. Yes, it is. Uh, 1d8 piercing. Oh, and then 1d4. Oh, and I get Hunter's Mark with that too, right? Uh, yes, you do. Yeah, I get Hunter's Mark on bow, so. That is 14 damage for that. 14. Okay, my second attack. Uh, four plus seven is eleven. Can I use my inspiration on that? Yeah. I'm on the eight. Oh no! It's only a fourteen. This is. Uh, so I might be able to like roll maybe a five or a six or something. Yeah, no problem. Oh well. And actually, uh, go make a death save for 
just in. Right. I was going to ask if I can I roll for his teleport, but I guess not if he's conscious. <laughs> Uh, he's got to uh, be a 10, and he succeeds an 18. Oh, and actually he gets advantage on the saves from Beacon of Hope. So go and see if he gets a 20. Alright. No, he got a natural one. Okay, so he does succeed. <laughs> Beacon of Death. <laughs> that be a Lord sick Sam. spell. If, if that was an actual spell, that would be sick. All healing <laughs> magics are reduced to nothing, and death saving throws have disadvantage. <laughs> there is some things I think that do something like that. Death tyrant. Yeah. Um. But anyway, that's your turn. So next is uh, Blora. All healing magic poisons you. <laughs> Take that in. So she can move it 20 feet. That's good. So she'll leave it there. And she is going to herself do a guiding bolt at him. She hits. Nice. Is she turned to a dice? <laughs> no, that's her spiritual weapon. So he takes nine points damage. And the next strike is advantage, which she's going to use her spiritual weapon for. Which hits as well. That does another nine points of damage. He's looking pretty hurt. Uh, even in the water, you can see like the cut wounds all across the mark, just gashing out blood. Um, but he is uh, he's determined to attempt to knock you guys down. So, this uh, Corian actually is actually next. Okay. Uh, that'll hit. Yep. Twenty-five damage. That one will miss. Uh, that one will miss. Okay, no problem. Do you do get a, a pretty good amount of damage into him? Um, he's now looking pretty close. Uh, not exactly on death's door, but he's not doing well. Uh, and actually, after that, no bonus actions. Uh, um no i don't i don't need anything so okay. i'm good just checking um Hanuk, you're up i'm gonna go i'm really tired of being lightning bolted today and i'm gonna cast another fire <laughs> i'm gonna cast another fireball in his face okay so elevated so it doesn't hit anybody all right index save with him index save 21. Uh, he saves. I only rolled 23 this time, so he'll take uh, 12. 12. Yeah. And then he is going to, Hanok is going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and he's going to duck behind this rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after that, it's uh, Avris. Uh, yeah, he's just, he's going to move the movie back, back on him. This is action. Because he does not like him. There. Uh... Oh, sorry. It is your turn. Yes. I read Avers instead of Aegis. Go right ahead. He's uh, about 30 feet away from you. I think I'll just, uh, he's stinking cloud on him. <laughs> Sting. Okay. What, uh, do you know the radius of stinking cloud? 
I think you could hit behind him, but... 20 foot radius? Yeah. 20 foot, so yeah, you could you could do it behind him and affect him with it. <laughs> with the stinging cloud. Yeah. So it forms behind him, uh, and I believe he makes a save on his turn. So, did you want to do any inspiration or movement? No. Good. So, uh, that's your turn. Avers uh, now moves moving move over and. Uh, he's gonna do. Uh, are any of you low on hit points? Um, I'm a little, I'm a little beat up. Is it Avis? Is it Avis is unconscious though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he do, he does see an unconscious dog next to him, uh, so he'll do healing word on him. Uh, <laughs> Me for offering. <laughs> He's just plain dead. Yeah, that's it. So going to give thirteen to Drossan for hit points. Marking that spell as well. Okay. So Aver's turn is over. Now it's his turn. He's gonna I'm gonna start with damage from uh Moonbeam. He succeed on save, so he takes half. And it was a pretty low roll, so he takes six points of radiant damage. And then is Stinking Cloud a con save? Yeah. Constitution? Okay. That's a 20. So I believe that saves. So he's not um, incapacitated. Um, so he'll take his action and he doesn't like all of you guys right here. <laughs> um, he wants to try to hit all of you at once, so he's, he's going to do another lightning bolt. Um, I believe he can only hit you four right here. This is ten foot. Um, so I'll need... Oh, Ali actually automatically... Yeah, yeah, automatically Ali's dissipated. Okay. No! <laughs> he could hear a little squeak as it just... What about if he got a natural 20? Would he, he should deserve <laughs> to survive. <laughs> What'd you get, Corian? Nine. I actually forgot to move Ollie. I was going to move him next to him for the help oh, action, but... Actually, oh well. I get advantage on those. Uh... Well, make a dexterity save and throw? Yes. Tw 12 21. doesn't work, so... Yeah, 12 does not. 21, <laughs> is it? I did. Um, yeah, so that succeeds. Blora uh, is going to roll now. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure she'll succeed and keep Beacon of Hope up. Uh, she got a 13, so that fails. Um, so she'll see, actually, well, I'll roll damage and do her concentration check after. I also need a concentration check after I roll damage for Hunter's Mark. Okay. Uh, that's 31 total. Uh, so you take uh, 16, Tarna. Okay. Go ahead and make a, a constitution saving throw. Um, uh, what have I got to be? Uh, a 10. Uh, and you said constitution, I got 15. Yep, so you maintain house mark. Um, so you said 31 damage? Yes, 31 total. Blower's gonna make her save. Isn't it? Isn't it half for Constitution saves? Yes, but it it was a half of oh, sixteen. Oh, it's half. So okay, I, yeah, I yeah. Up. Oof, Blower got a a five. So I for, she I forgot he had saved. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, thank God I did. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been down if I hadn't. <laughs> so. Uh, you can see in his eyes, uh, he's looking pretty desperate now. Um, that's all he can do. Uh, he is 
He's going to stay there. He doesn't want to risk moving. Um, but begin to hope, it, hope is gone at the moment. Uh, and that ends his turn. So it's Tarnum. Yep. Alright. I want to draw Santa Claus's back up now. This is with the bow, not with a natural one. <laughs> get nothing but that. The wind just carries it away. Uh, 20. 20 hits. Uh, okay, now I've got my other dice again. Um, 7 plus 4, 11 damage again. 11. You still now, have... uh, Can I uh, see Drawstone's teleport again? Yes. 3, that doesn't count. It has to be a 4, 5, or a 6. Uh, all right. I'm going to move him at the very least. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I was going to hide behind this rock here. <laughs> okay. and, just, and just wait <laughs> until this is over. And I am okay. going to move back. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going to move back there. I think I could still shoot him. I'm still in range of that. But yep. I want to be away from that lightning strike that he's got. And with that, it is now Ballora. She kind of sees, and actually at this moment, he like, um, he just pukes up blood. Um, <laughs> some of it splashing a little bit on Corian. Um, I'm sure he's had worse. I grin back. <laughs> that kind of like triumphant uh, smile is gone, Corian, uh, on his face. Um, Floor is gonna step forward, and she's gonna do another guiding bolt up at a higher level. Oof. A fourth level guiding bolt, and she misses. Um, that's uh, <laughs> thirteen. Yeah, he she misses. Um, even in his desperation, he manages to dodge it. Um. And she'll try her spiritual weapon to try to get a little bit of damage off, but that actually hits. Nice. He is still barely up. Um, he's now looking like he's about to flee, um, but it's actually Corian's turn. At this moment, not his. Uh, all right. Sixteen hit. It does. You can see he's kind of like trying to back away into the ocean. Okay, two of those hit. Yes. So six, twelve, uh, twenty-two on that one. Twenty-two. And. 25 on that one. And with that, as he tries, um, he's kind of like um, waist level with you. Uh, you reach up and slash open his stomach and back as he tries turning away. And you guys, yeah, even through the, the loud uh, winds um, and rain, you can hear the body collapse into the water. Um, he is dead. <laughs> Splashes into the water and kind of like starts drifting away with the current. Um, Gonna move back up onto land. Do I put his sword in the bag of holding? I say. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's floated out to sea, hasn't it? Now it's hard to retrieve. I don't know. It's a sword. How fast could it float away? Uh, Corian drops to one knee in the sand. And uh, starts gasping for breath. <laughs> What's his hit points? Uh, oh no, he's got on hit points, but the potion of haste uh, oh, makes yeah. you fatigued. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, just for I, a minute, like a minute. I'm near death still. I've already got 15 hit points left, so I'm just. <sighs> <laughs> Any beacon of hope and big some he cure wounds here? <laughs> Gloria actually begins running over. Um... To begin to heal you guys, but you begin to see her form like rise up in the air, 
Uh, and that's actually happened to you all of you guys as well. Yeah, you well, that's um, um, you get that weightless feeling uh, as you blink once again and you are back. Actually, go and move the figures off. I'm going to get rid of the map. That dies. <laughs> is everybody off? Oh, is that Justin? Yeah. Here's Justin. Thank you. Uh, where's Ali? Oh, he's. We're here. We're good. Is there a specific background we need? Uh, you can do the rocky one again. Okay. So. You all appear uh, once again in that same torch lit room. Um, the giant lion like figure of uh, above you, you're at the base of the steps. Um, he says, um, as Ballora is kind of like giving out some healings, um, he says, So, you all successfully completed my trial. Mm. It is a feat that none before you have accomplished. As promised, y'all may pass with my permission. Go ahead and go claim your prize, champions. And he kind of like steps aside, um, revealing the kind of like, uh, kind of like eight to nine foot tall stone door behind him. All right, I'll walk up and push the door open. Can I cast find traps? <laughs> you can. Actually, uh, who needs healing? Boris going to give out some. Uh, I do. Uh, I can use some heals. Okay. Same. Do I find anything from my fine trap spell? You actually do not. It is safe. Alright. Uh, Aegis, you get 18 hit points. It's does uh, get you back up to full. Uh, nearly. Nearly? Okay. Um... So do uh, Hanok next. Uh, 16 points to you, Hanok. Good enough. And so actually Aircross will do one on himself. He's a little low. Can we take a short rest here? If you guys wish to. It's up to you. Well, it looks like I'm going to need to roll some hit there. I'm using Arcane Recovery to recover my 4th level spell slot. I'm going to roll, I think, just one hit die. There should be plenty. So I'm at like 15 hit points, so do 10s. And I can also do Sun Rest. Yes. That's true. 1D, that's an extra 1d6, right? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. So as you guys, uh, before you head in, you kind of like just take a 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, just uh, kind of who rolls that? Him or us? He does. And you all get that roll that he gets. Just the one. Yep. <laughs> Gives a little couple notes on this. Uh, do, do, do. That's a D12. Is this are so waterlogged. Yeah, you guys are like drenched in water. Uh, <laughs> I think prestidigitation, right? That works out in that, right? <laughs> Uh, it helps a little bit, but you are. I can drenched. warm. Um, I can warm one cubic foot of non-living material for one hour. So <laughs> we can just create a little fire here. Avers is back to full. Did I get a heal? Oh, did uh, Blur ask if you need one? Um, oh, I needed one, but I didn't get one, but it's fine. I've just spent my <laughs> hit dice. I'm not bothered. You know, I don't matter anyway. It's all good. I can heal you if you need. Yeah, you're all right now. I've spent the hit dice. 
I just I thought when she was handing them out, she was gonna go to everybody. But whatever. right, I did mention that I was low on hit points, but she's like, fair I enough. Me too. She didn't hear you. <laughs> she she prioritizes the small folk. <laughs> yes. It's alright. I I use my uh, second win. Sorry, I have water in my ears. I can't very hear very well. Well, I rolled a nine and a ten on my two hit dice, so. Uh, she does ask, uh, just be sure, do you, either of you need any healing, or are you all good? No, no, you're all right now, thank you. <laughs> I, could, I could still use some. Okay. I mean, I'm two hit Appreciate points on my maximum. I'm 18 down, still. <laughs> I'm kidding, I don't want actual healing. Uh, what's the option it dies? D8? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Corin, you're back. She used a couple first levels, and all she right. also used one more first. Le- actually, uh, Hanok, did you use all your hit dice? No, but I, I, I'm two points off my maximum. Don't waste the spell on me. Okay. I mean, actually, before we start the rest, can I say like, okay, so I have this cloak that I attune to that gives me extra defense, like that we got off the guy. It basically, like out of character, I got a plus two AC cloak. That works once every short rest. It's a reaction. Adds plus two your AC for a round. Would this be better for somebody else? Because I do have shield. That's up to you. What is it? I mean, Corian and Tarnum, you guys are attuned to a couple different things right now, right? Uh, am I? <laughs> I don't. I don't think I am. Isn't Isn't he attuned uh, to that sword and to his bow? My sword isn't. Uh, all my bow isn't an attuned. I, I think he only has the boots that he's attuned to. Okay. I What's Avarice's AC? Avers is 15. I'm going to hand Avers the cloak. Okay. Man, I'm rolling really well on hit dice. On the two that I spent for draw center, I'm rolling an 8 on an 8. Why can't I roll like this in battle? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know on the attunement thing. I've only got one item I have attuned listed next to. I'm not sure if my sword's an attuned weapon or not. I know the bow is. I believe Corian only has one sword that requires attunement. Which one is that? Actually, no, I believe... Isn't it both your, your leeching sword and your lightning sword that require? They should. Uh, the lightning sword didn't. So usually any weapon that is at plus one, you usually have to attune to, is the thing, typically. Yeah, I don't have anything bigger than a plus one. I mean, like, like, like usually, like with the when you have the extra rolls or leech or crit th- and stuff. I think I the leeching do, um, one I'm attuned to. I usually do if it's a, if it's a plus one and it has an additional effect. I usually yeah, do that's what I'm saying. That, yeah. But if it's just like a regular plus one, I usually don't require attunement. So my bow would be an attuned weapon then, because it's one one d eight piercing plus one, and then it's got another d four on it. Yep. Okay, so I'm attuned to the bow and my boots then. Yep. What uh, what extra damage is the d four? I don't know what that is. Uh, I believe plus fire. Okay. All right, so I pan over the cloak to Avaris for right now. It only works once every short rest for plus two AC, so. Okay, he takes it. I'm going to reattune to my cold amulet. So. Are you guys all good for your short rest, or do you have anything else you wish to do? Um... So he did, did, did it, what, what happened with the Sphinx? They just opened up another passage behind us. Yeah. Uh, the door is currently closed, but it's uh, he moved out of the way for it. Um, I'll ask. Give me ten minutes. I'm gonna spend ten minutes to cast the tech magic. Okay. What's the radius of it? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. You're at the bottom of the stairs right now. You do not detect anything. All right. I'm just gonna keep that up in case if I mean, I'm expecting to find the shield, but in case there's anything else. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you guys going up, or you have anything else you wish to do to prepare or anything? No. Okay. Just figure it. Ask. So, 
um, all of you kind of start ascending uh, this uh, beautifully carved uh, stone staircase up about 20 feet. Um, and you reach the top and you see this the stone doorway is currently closed. I'll open it. Okay. And you guys actually, um, from the bottom of the stairs, it didn't look too large, but you actually see the Sphinx about uh, five feet from you, and he's pretty large, um, especially in his sit- kind of like sitting stance. But he just kind of doesn't even look once you guys go in. Um, you open up the door, though, and inside, um, you actually see it's actually a small room. Uh, there, It's a stone wall. A room that's about 10 feet long uh, it's about five feet wide so it's pretty small to enter into um are you going in or are you just opening the door coin uh yeah i, I just, w- just open the door and walk in okay um and the detect magic you do detect uh the shield inside one uh, as corian sees it on the opposite uh, 10 feet away you see a uh, just one small shield uh, of forged steel, and it has like um, sapphires that outline the entire form of it. Um, it's kind of like in the almost like in the shape of a trident, uh, but kind of wider, um, and it stands on a, a single pedestal. Is that uh, the only th- thing my detect magic's detecting? Yes, there's kind okay. of like dust uh, covering this room. Uh, but the shield's untouched. Uh, I mean, it's uh, kind of maintaining its polish. Well, who wants the shield? Tarnum, I think you're the only one that uses a shield, right? Yeah, I am, but uh, if somebody else wants it, they can have it. Averis only uses wood shields, so he can't. Uh, Ergius can can barge you shields? I don't think so. I think he's only good with light armor. Yes. Light armor. So that's all Cor- of you. <laughs> it's all you, Tarn. Well, you could still use it, Corin, but I guess you have a two-handed sword, right? Right. So unless it makes my two-handed swords into one-handed swords, I can't use it. Well, let me, let me, uh, can I take it for a minute? I'm going to cast Identify on it. Go ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop Detect Magic, cast Identify. Okay. Um, do you want, uh, actually, I'll, I'll send you um, a picture of the entire stats. Okay. Um, it's gonna Which I will make... then share with the group. Yeah, and actually, uh, send it to Tarnum as well. Actually, I'll, um, I'll post it you in, put in the D&D the Discord. Discord. Yeah, I'll do that. And yet, uh, this is considered a relic, um, so. Okay, I don't know what that means, but. Uh, it's a very rare um, item. Okay. It's in, it's in the D&D Discord? I'm about to post it. I just had to take pictures of it. Oh. Plus two shield. Hmm. Oh my god, oh my god, a blind sight. Yeah, Corian, what's your strength at? 20. Yeah, so he would be good for Corian because of passive effect. Can't pass 20. Yeah, so. It's a nice shield. Would I get any sense if this is the thing in my little prophecy or no? Um, you're not sure. Uh, it was kind of similar. You're not sure if it's entirely what you what you're looking for. Yeah, because I can't use shows. this. Yeah. Can I can I investigate the room? The room? Yeah. You uh, kind of push past Corian. Uh, it's uh, in a road check. 16? 16. It's pretty empty, actually. Uh, besides the dust and the pedestal uh, and the shield, which now Corian has in his hands. Oh, actually you, because you're identifying it. Uh, it's a pretty simple, small room. 
um, you get the feeling it gives uh, it's intended this way to hit the sides of the shield um, mm. no. while they're up to protect. I'll take another short rest to attune to that turn. Uh, well, we haven't even decided if it's mine yet. You said that Corian may benefit from this. No, I no. mean, Corian, Corian would even get one of the benefits because his passive effect. Okay. Uh, I'm still reading this and trying to understand it all. There's a lot to it. Uh, let me look at it again. You, you, got, you got basically three abilities here. You got the passive plus two, so you'll add plus one to your strength modifier, which will be good for your sword. This will give you one extra damage. When well, you not really. Your... My sword's a dex weapon. Oh, so. is it? Okay, at, yeah. As a plus two shield, does that make it worth four AC? Yes. Okay. So my AC would go up to 22 when using a shield. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And, then and as a reaction, you can deflect uh, arrows, magic bolts. Um, I mean, you have to roll to see if it works, but yeah. Uh, once per long rest, you can get blind sight. Yep. Uh, I'm one of the few people that doesn't have any sort of dark vision. Right. Uh, how long is blind sight? Well, blind sight's better than that. If I'm blinded, I uh, can still maintain hearing a smell and don't gain disadvantage on attack rolls. It's an and if they're invisible near you, you're better to uh, find them. And it increases your strength to plus two. My strength currently is 12, so yeah, it would go to 14. Yeah, yeah and you should get plus two. one to your uh, strength and athletics and your strength saving throw. Yeah, so that I'm proficient in strength saving throws, so that would go up to five. And literally, you're the only one who can use this. <laughs> I guess I'll I'll take it then, and I'll swap out my regular shield. With this Unless shield you want Corian to stop using Great Weapon Master. <laughs> I don't like taking things from people, as I've discussed before. I'll always be the last person to choose something. So it's a plus four AC then, instead of plus two? Yep. All right. I'll copy this down into my notes here. Uh, while I'm actually doing all this, uh, it reminded me of something uh, that I needed to do, especially now I've got this shield. Can I find, uh, I'm sure it's around Urgeus somewhere. Sure. He's right behind you, kind of looking over to see the shield. Uh, so I'm going to set my stuff all down and say, well, now I've got this. I'm getting a bit heavy on stuff now, and you use uh, rapiers, right? You fight with those. Yeah. It's much words. So I'll get to uh, that special rapier I got uh, ages ago out, and so you can have this. Welcome to the club, I guess. Uh, and that's that plus one rapier with the ability to extend to ten foot for a round, I think it is. Or something like that. Yep. If oh, you can yeah. send him the information to that. I forgot about that thing. I, I, it's somewhere um, in my notes. I, it, either one of us can find it later, I guess. Yeah. Enjoy. You've earned Thank it. You. So you can add that to your equipment. Uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly the contents of it, uh, so just put, um, I believe it's a plus one rapier. So it's going to yeah. put that in your inventory. And Alan will give you the specifics later. Okay. So now you guys sit in this torchlit room uh, with a new shield in your hands. Um, we need to get out of here. Uh, do you think the Sphinx might be able to help with that? Hey, Mr. Sphinx, you uh, willing to help us get back to our home? <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Uh, uh, Ergius, I went. Can I can I speak to it in Celestial to try to get advantage? Uh, you can, but you won't get advantage. No. Uh, and I don't have suggestion. Oh, pfft, like three. Kind okay, of smiles. You all seem capable of getting home yourselves. I'd like to ask him what his name is. His name. Let me get that. Uh, 
Alizaro. So now that we have the shield, does that mean you're like going to leave this place? Perhaps soon. My mission's complete. I don't see a point in staying here too much longer. Would you be leaving physically, or do you transport magically away from this place? Magically. I uh, figured we could just, you know, follow behind the giant sphinx as they left. I'll just hop on your back. <laughs> That's a different persuasion check. Um, well, if we... Do we, want, do we want a long rest before we get out of here? That's up to you guys. I do have my fourth level spell back, so I can make two people fly. They can drop the immovable rod and drop a rope to get the rest of us up. We'd have to fight our way back through the drow city. Mm. You want to try your teleport scroll? Yeah, I'd want to try that tomorrow, though, because that's a level 7 spell. Which has a pretty high, there's a pretty high chance of failure. That's a one-shot deal. I like, to, I'd like to have some divine rolls for that, basically. You guys can long rest if you wish. Yeah, because you used your second divine roll, so. Yep. I mean. I don't know if, there's, if it's worth trying to go back to the city or not. Up to you guys. Um, well, we got some time before we long rest. Can I spend an hour bring Owly back? Yes. Okay. Um, how long would it take... How much distance is this whole like area we've been through? Like roughly 1,000 feet? Oh, more than that. Uh, I can't even imagine. It's, I'd miles. say, yes, miles? It's, you miles? guys went a long way. Most of it was kind of like filler walking. Um, you guys spent hours navigating uh, the areas in between. Um, so that would be probably a little more than half a day, maybe like 14 hours of travel total. All right. Well, I guess we should start traveling back and then camp for the night. Well, I mean, if you're going to try that teleport thing. Well, I want to try it in the morning. We could hang out here, which might be safer. <laughs> That's true. I was also going to try because I was thinking about trying to send Ollie back. Scope out if they're still waiting for us. Well, any way we do it, the pit is in the middle of the city. It was guarded last time we were there. We never saw another way mm. out. Yeah, all right. Well, then I guess then yeah, we'll sleep for tomorrow and leave, hopefully by teleportation. You okay with us hanging out here, Alzaro? I am. I don't mind. I haven't had company in a while. All right, I'm going to bring back Owly, cast some alarm spells, and tiny huts. You sure you don't <laughs> want to just teleport us all to the surface? Right now? No, him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can check us. As I said, you all got down here yourselves. You could hang out at our house instead of down here in this cave. <laughs> I have my own home. But maybe in the future. Is there any way we could persuade you to give us a ride? Answer a riddle or something. <laughs> Where do you live normally when not here? Actually, that has its own name. Let's see if I can find it. A 
Elysium. Is it, is it a city? It's a plane of existence. Oh. Yeah, that's uh, that's God territory. Yeah. Um, I know that. Is it possible to take a vacation there? Maybe one day, but not anybody's just allowed in. Oh, do you have to be one of them religious? <laughs> not necessarily. Well, that's good then. So, no riddles to get a ride or anything? <laughs> Not this time, small one. And he kind of just puts his hand, his head back on his paws. If we ever want to speak to you again, how can we get in touch? Maybe in the future, I'll come to you. You seem so knowledgeable. We could ask you so many things. You might be able to help us. I wish, I wish we could have some sort of D and D call book where we could just. <laughs> You know, Carry sending stones on you. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can get the spell of sending and actually send him a message if I want to. Now that we know his name and met him. I mean, I have been here uh, a oh, little over six hundred years, but I still don't know much about the surface. Are you are you saying that that giant was on the island for six hundred years? No. So, what was the challenge before the giant? Climbing a steep hill, or sorry, steep mountain uh, in the Southern Chris Mountains. Why couldn't we have gone and done that? Actually, it's not as easy as the last one. Was. It's just as difficult. Yeah. So, and that land is occupied at the moment. What by? Goliaths. Oh. That ocean is filled with many terrible things. That's why I try my best to restore a little bit of law back to that domain. Try and keep it in order. You'd be lucky with some of the creatures in that place. They defy even nature itself. I wouldn't be surprised. Did you guys have any other questions for him? How no. old is he? Uh, he says he's over here about a little over 600 years. Yeah, but I want to know his, his age. Like, how long has he been alive? About 700. Oh, this is his first job, I guess, going in this. Well, I hope to meet you again. I'm sure you will. You already have Helm's Blessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't recognize what you're trying to say. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm uh, going to make a pillow out of my stuff, I guess, and lay back and start eating some jerky. Okay. Oh yeah, we have all of that <laughs> jerky that we cooked up, didn't we? The yeah. billion pounds of jerky that we have. Is there enough time before we go to bed for me to make a Tasha spell scroll? Yes. Right, Gonna make oh a God. arcana check. While he's doing that, can I study these blue mushrooms I picked up and find out what they might be useful for with my book? Sure. Gonna make a alchemy check with advantage. Sixteen. Alchemy? What's that? It's a first level spell, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Um Alchemy is your wisdom modifier wisdom modifier plus your proficiency. Okay. So that would be a plus five only an eight. <laughs> right, I give you advantage quit with the book. Oh. Uh twenty. Uh you know they are I'll say you more specific later, but you know uh, they are used in potions of light. Ooh. 
So I, I could drink this potion, and then when I open my mouth, it, holy sh- You can give yourself a glow. Ooh. That might be useful when moving around in dark Kind of helps, uh, helps you see, yeah, see in the dark as well, so... Oh, it helps you see in the dark, too. Does it give you the, dark vision? Uh, no, it's from the light that uh, oh, right, radius right, right. off of you. Could be become a human torch. <laughs> yeah. One day. I need to uh, see about making some potions out of that. How long has it even been down here? How long have we been down here? A week? Uh, how many longers have you guys had? Like two, three, fourth. Mm. I wonder if they've uh, found a couple days for the potion shop yet in town. Four days later. 